can you keep it quiet over there? I'm trying to be noisy. I'm Chris Meyer. Join me and the Legendary Customs team as we take ordinary rides and craft them into Legendary Customs. Hey there, just made a run to the landfill for the guys um, and just pulling into the shop. I guess the guys are diving into this body swap here today, so let's go see what they've got going on. Okay, putting the body onto the Crown Vic frame for the very first time. After we lowered the unibody onto the Crown Vic frame, we took some measurements. At this point, we decided to take out six inches from the wheel well. That will allow us to lower the unibody further down onto the frame. After we had it lowered, we were able to take more accurate measurements of what metal needed to be removed to clear the shock towers and the front and rear of the frame by the wheel wells. After double and triple checking all measurements between the unibody and the Crown Victoria frame, we determined that we needed to take an additional three inches out of the wheel well. We also needed to take metal out towards the front and the rear of the truck's box to clear the Crown Victoria frame. After we determined what metal was no longer needed and to give us proper clearance between the unibody and the Crown Victoria frame, we marked both the left and the right side.
After we marked everything in a uniform fashion, we cut the unwanted steel away. Now we have all the clearance that we need to lower the body down onto the Crown Victoria frame. Hey Brett, we're not painting your motor. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we look cool though. All red? Yeah. <laughs> we're not going to do it. It looked cool. Six. So this area right here, the frame from Ford Factory, is quarter inch steel, excuse me, eighth inch steel. Well, we're gonna cut this out, box it back in, and then we're gonna put in quarter inch steel from this point, and we're gonna have it go inside of the frame and come back to here. So that's gonna stiffen this up tremendously. So we're taking out eighth, putting in quarter, so the bend that's here is being uh, compensated by putting in a real stiff quarter inch steel. Doing that on both sides so then the cab on the inside is going to remain 100% stock looking. So what we just did was we made to cut this out. The frame was a half inch too wide in comparison with our steps on the truck. So we had to free up at least a quarter inch on each side. So we made a half inch on each side so we'll have a half inch clearance. And uh, that way we don't have to cut apart the steps. And we're welding on quarter inch steel to block this in. And that'll end up strengthening it anyways because this is eight inch factory, so. steel frame on here all the way around with steel and it's going to have cross members. That's what's going to hook this unibody back to the Ford Crown Victoria frame. We are on the 1962 unibody. Zach is putting in the rear bed supports. Basically it's a one inch 
by inch and a half by eighth inch in steel. We're going to have a frame going across here, a frame going across the back, one going front to back on each side, and then we'll have four or five supports going across the middle. Basically what this will do, this frame will hook to the P57 for the <laughs> Chrome Vix frame and uh, it will tie everything together. This will make it really sturdy, really stable, and then the wood bed will go on top of this. That's what Zach is in the middle of, and uh, all it is is measure many times, make sure you got it right, tack stuff in, and then weld it in strong. All right, here we go. Here's Zach. Can you keep it quiet over there? I'm trying to be noisy. What I am making here is a little dome that is going to fit over the top of the transmission vent that is on a Crown Vic. We're making all these changes to get the body three quarters of an inch lower than what it could be if that wasn't made. So all this works for three quarters of an inch. We want it down as low as it can go without air ride. And this is what we have to do to make it happen. This dome As you can see, the dirty Ford is coming together great. It's not every day that you take a 1962 Ford Unibody and join it with a 2011 Crown Victoria Squad Car. Using the existing drivetrain is one of the best features of this entire project. It takes an old truck and makes it drive like a Cadillac. The rear grid system is starting to come together. Each and every weld is extremely important. Each and every measurement is extremely important. Remember to check everything twice. Tack it in place and then make sure each and every weld is perfect. This grid system has to be perfectly level. If it's not level, the body will not sit straight on the Crown Victoria frame. Join us next week as you see the body mounts put together to hook the Crown Victoria together with the Ford Unibody. Join us next week as you see more details of the Dirty Ford coming together. We appreciate you tuning in to our YouTube channel and each and every one of you are appreciated. Remember, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We appreciate you tuning in, and we'll see you on the next episode of Legendary Customs, where ordinary becomes legendary. Mm -hmm.